This is The Simp Hit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star of today's show is an item that I've been previewing on my live stream all week long, letting you watch me test it, and that's this little teeny silver box here by MB Motorsports. What is it? This is the iFlag display for iRacing. It's an 8x8 LED matrix display that will show you the racing flag conditions within the sim. Yes, I know it's redundant. When you're playing iRacing, you have flags up in the upper left corner of your screen. But to be honest with you, when I'm driving, I'm not always looking up there, and I don't always notice those. There we go. Hard to miss that, isn't it? But this, this little sucker is very bright, and it's almost impossible to miss this thing lighting up in your face while you're driving. So it does take care of that extra added attention that you need, even though it is a little redundant. Now this display actually was brought to my attention by one of the viewers out there. They actually asked me, hey, have you seen this iFlag display? Do you know anything about it? And honestly, I hadn't, but as soon as I saw it, I had to know more for myself just because it looked exciting, the kind of thing that I was totally into. So as it turns out, this is a DIY project. And you know, I found this version at MB Motorsports and what they're doing is they're actually taking that DIY project, and we'll get back to that in just a moment, and they're kind of putting them together themselves. They're creating, they're doing all the hardware installation, all the soldering, everything it takes to put them together, making a nice enclosure, including double stick Velcro for you to mount it, a 10 foot USB cable, everything you need, as well as providing the software that goes along with it. So they're kind of giving you that one stop shopping. They are selling in a few different variations and we're gonna get back to that as well. But now let's get back to the iFlag display and what is it all about? Well, the iFlag display, as I mentioned, it displays the racing flags. Like when it turns green, this lights up green. When you get a red flag, it lights up red and so on and so on. But this did start off as a DIY project and all credit, whether you go to MB Motorsports, they cite the credit there, or whether you really look to the real story of who really came up with this great design, it's Petter Vostrel. And he's the one who created the whole thing, combining the Arduino with the LEDs. He created the coding to go along with it, and he made it an open source project for anyone to make on their own for the cost of the parts. It's brilliant, it's genius, it's super generous on his part to make it available to everybody, and it's something that if you are into DIY projects, I highly suggest you check out that route. Now, on the other hand, DIY projects are not for everybody. It takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of skill. Sometimes it takes extra money because you end up burning or wasting parts going through a learning curve just doing a DIY project. And for some people, it's just a lot easier to spend a little extra money and get something already ready to go. And that takes us to what MB Motorsports are doing. And again, when I contacted them, Adam of MB Motorsports was the first one to tell me that this was Petter's design. He did not design this. He's just assembling them, putting some nice configurations and making them available to you. So what do we have at MB Motorsports? We have the Arduino with the display just completely assembled, no enclosure, and you can get that for $45. They have a, a low grade and a premium enclosure for $20 or $50, and you can buy those on your own if you just want to do everything piecemeal or part by part, or maybe you already built one of these yourself. And then finally, they have the fully assembled kit where you're going to get the enclosure, the assembled Arduino, tested assembled Arduino, a 10 foot cord, the mounting Velcro, everything you need, turnkey, ready to go. And that option is $60. Now all of this could change. He's a new company. He's doing these one by one himself. He warned me there might be like a one to two week delay for him to get back to orders as he's refining the website, setting up an eBay store. So all the details might change slightly, but it should stay pretty similar. Like when I first got this, they were only available in white. This silver one that I got is actually a prototype design. So it's not one that you can actually order, but they do have several colors on the website to choose from. And as I mentioned, I did get the fully assembled one with the prototype case here. In addition to the cable and the Velcro, I did get a thank you card from MB Motorsports thanking me for my purchase, or in this case, they sent it to me for testing, and also a very simple and easy to follow along instruction sheet. And from there, we get into installation, which was very easy as well. In fact, it was as easy as this one, two, three, or up to eight step instruction sheet. And we start by going to their website, mbmotorsports.weebly.com, and then go to the iFlag tab. Download the Arduino software, download the iFlag software, 
And then you will also need to go to the Microsoft website and download Microsoft Net Framework from there. Now you can take that downloaded iFlag zip file and extract those files to your desktop or another easy to find spot on your computer. Then you want to run the Arduino software and then install the Net Framework. And in my case, it was already on my system, so it didn't install it. Then you can plug in the iFlag, then run the iFlag software from the folder on your desktop or wherever you put it. I made a little shortcut. And then you can watch your fancy lights blink. And the hardware side of things were just as easy. With the display came some double stick Velcro. So I attached that to the box and then stuck it right on the bezel of my center monitor. Perfect, out of the way, but very much in sight at the same time. Then just plug in the USB cable and you're done. Very easy. Once the display is mounted, plugged in, and sometimes you do have to initialize it, which is done on the options menu of that iFlag software, it will sit there scrolling through the different flag menu options that it has. It's just sitting there waiting for iRacing to log in or so that it actually sees iRacing running and then it'll start having the flags dictated by the sim instead of scrolling through the flags. But you can see right there on the software, it says green flag and at the same time you'll see the green lights blinking. The features or the functions or the lights that will blink on this display are green flag, checkered flag, yellow waving flag, caution flag, red flag, white flag, blue with a yellow diagonal, debris, disqualified, meatball, and the furled black flag showing that you either went off track or contacted another vehicle. In addition to that, there are some starting light flags to let you know on different types of starts, whether they be rolling or standing. Now, once you're out on the track on iRacing, there's nothing else to be done. There's no buttons that you have to press. You don't have to do any controllers or do anything else. If that software is running, the display is plugged in, once iRacing launches, it will take care of the rest. And when you're on track, you're going to see that display, and it is very bright. When you get a green flag, it is unmistakable. The green light is flashing very brightly. And I know I said it's redundant to the little flag in the upper left screen, but there is no comparing the difference in brightness between this display and that little flag on the upper left. Now, if it is too bright, which it wasn't for me, you can adjust that in the software and turn it down a bit. But for me, I like it very bright and very noticeable because the flags aren't always running. They're only telling you when the marshal is trying to tell you or send you information like debris or caution or that you've done something wrong. And if you crash your car or you injure it badly, you're going to get the brightest meatball you've ever seen telling you that you must return to the pits. All of the flags in iRacing are live on the iFlag, and it not only makes life easier, but makes my rig just that much more impressive. Now, I've mentioned a couple of times, but I do just want to kind of go back a step before I get comments of people saying, hey, I can build that myself. Absolutely. Petter's design is great. You can get those instructions. You can get an Arduino board. You can get the matrix. You can put it together yourself. Absolutely, and you're going to save a few bucks doing it. At the same time, you still won't have an enclosure. You still won't have a USB cord, and that's not a big deal. And in case you do make any errors or have any problems, you're starting over from scratch. The other thing is, obviously, this is a redundant design. Do you really need it? I mean, you have the flag. I've said it in the screen. It's there. But that peripheral vision little flag, I just don't see it, and there is no missing this at all. Plus, for me, I love external displays. It's that added immersion and realism that goes into your rig that really puts it over the top and makes it your custom rig just for you. And another note on displays is pretty much any display you get is redundant. I mean, most of the sims show you the dashboard. You have your tachometer, but I still love a physical tach just to, again, have that added immersion and realism and take my rig one more step towards being the perfect rig for me. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed the iFlag. I think it's a great display, and if it's something that you're missing, whether you do the do-it-yourself version or head over to mbmotorsports.weebly.com, check him out there, talk to Adam, find out which options he actually has ready to go and available. He'll fulfill your order as quickly as he can, I'm sure. But again, I had a lot of people who did ask me about this product, and I want to thank everybody who did, because 
you know, sometimes I don't always know of every product out there. So when you help out, you send me a note, send me an email, anything, letting me know, hey, have you checked this out? I think people are going to want to see it. It always helps me out as well. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I, I can tell you this, this is staying on my rig. I love this thing. It is a great addition to my rig and it is staying on the rig forever. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. And hopefully someday they'll evolve the software to include other titles. I mean, in theory, it can or it could because other displays that I've used in the past, even like the functional tachometers, they can adapt to other sims as well. It's just a matter of coding and software. And maybe with more demand, we'll get that kind of attention as well. But for now, just for iRacing alone, it's good enough for me. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole. I'll see you on the track.